right, so this is a finished product. Um, we did the uh, conversion on this, uh, what year is this? 83 300SD. And what did we do to it? Uh, pretty much got, replaced the, uh, the fuel filter here to be able to get more uh, fuel through here to get it warmed up and I'd uh, be able to see if there was any water separating into here so we could drain it on off. And that's just a standard filter from like a diesel transfer tank? Yeah. Kind of like a goldenrod, yeah? Yeah. And then heat lined it from right in here, goes through in, into the middle of the fuel line, then through here, heats up this metal part of the fuel line right there, which is brake line retrofitted, and then wrapped it up with the insulation and did the, uh, the actual built for this model uh, heat lines for the fuel fil or fuel lines. And those are from Noel Young. Uh, does an awesome job. They really get hot. Um, and this right down here at the brake, right as it enters the injection pump, because this is not a two-tank system. This is a single tank. Um, and we've just got everything up and running how we want it to. <clears throat> we use PEX uh, tubing for all the coolant. Uh, we ran the coolant all the way back to uh, the fuel tank. And then basically uh, we uh, put them together um, and maybe I can show you down here. You have the incoming and the returning coolant line and then we made the fuel line pecs also. So, uh, and then we wrapped in insulation so that goes all the way to the front and it's up and out of the way. <clears throat> so it's the vegetable oil is being heated the entire time. It's getting heated initially in the morning when you start from the um, the heat wires, they get up to about 260 degrees in about maybe a minute. So you just let it sit there a little longer. And uh, we ran fuel line here, and then this is actual ducting tape. Worked really good for kind of keeping this all together. Uh, we ran a copper uh, line down the center of the fuel filter at the pickup so that uh, the heat wire actually goes into there and heats it up at the pickup. So it's getting heated at the pickup, it's getting heated at the injection pump, and it's heated in the lines for cold day starting. Um, and, all right, show us the um, suitcase back here the, for the fuel transfer. This is pretty, uh, pretty fucking cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Got the end of the hose here clamped on in to a thick gauge screen to where it picks up all the big crap. And that's just like the stuff you see on your uh, faucet at home. Uh, it's probably like a 400 micron, you know, just keep small animals out of there. And then what's this? We're gonna end up putting a big screen over this, be it, being able to keep it well away from the bottom and pick up all the dirty crap without being able to plug up the actual hose. Goes right from this tank through there, up through here, hooked up by a gel motorcycle battery being pumped through this utility pump, then pushed through this uh, water filter. What is it, 10 micron? Yeah, I think we got a 10, uh, 10 micron. It's a house water filter. It's about 20 bucks at uh, Lowe's. And you can always pick up the extra filters and have them in stock in bulk off the internet. Very, very inexpensive. And uh, the pump was from uh, Harbor Freight. It's like 28 bucks and it works awesome. And then it just goes right on through here to the other hose right into the fuel tank. Yes. And right now it doesn't have the uh, the pump nozzle on it. I'm gonna have that put on here pretty darn quick. But we got that for a couple bucks also. And, and it's all in a suitcase, right? Yep. Now we can kind of close it up. We're gonna do a double pump system. Check that out. Completely portable. <laughs> Samsonite. I knew it started with an S. <laughs> gonna do a double pump system with a little bit thicker gauge hose so it pumps a little bit quicker. Takes a little while. I mean, what did it take? About eight minutes to get half a tank in there. Which was probably about 12 gallons, maybe. Yeah, and eight minutes will be cut down to maybe about four, five minutes, and that's still a hell of a lot better than spending 50 bucks in three minutes. Oh, yeah. I was able to smoke at this, uh, at this point. <laughs> yes. All right, so that's it. And the next project is that right there. That's my... Um, Ford that I put the Cummins into. Um, so that will be this next week. And my horse trailer, after that's finished, that's what we're gonna work on, so. That's it. And so this is the case in the trunk. We figured, uh, we did the last video and went, well, hell, we didn't even start it. So he's gonna jump in there right now and uh, kind of explain what the uh, little rigmarole you have to go through, which is not bad considering it's all free. These, uh, these lines, of course, aren't put into the dash or anything. 
This one right here. They will be though. Yeah, they will be. And they'll probably put like right down there. This this line right there, this uh, switch, hitting up the uh, the fuel filter, heating it up right now. This one right there is for the injection lines, and we're just gonna sit here and hang out for a minute, and uh, be able to start her on up just like normal. And it actually runs a hell of a lot better on vegetable oil than the new freaking diesel that they have going on. So. And how much were those lines? Those uh, the heaters? Yeah. Those heaters were what? Uh, 30, yeah. 30 bucks for one, like 20 for the other, 35 bucks for one, 20 for the other. So and and they only draw like uh, how many amps? Seven amps a piece, 14 amps total. Yeah. And they run for what, 30,000 30, hours? Yeah, something like that, 30,000 hours at full temp. So the things will pretty much last as long as your car will, unless you break them or something or yeah. cut them. And I figure 30,000 hours, they're already going to be able to pay for a new damn car, let alone themselves, so I'll <laughs> shell out the freaking money for some extra new ones, huh? Yeah. This all ready to tap? And it's running, and it runs great. See the fuel gurgling down there? Run it for free, man. Can't fucking beat that. That's it. I'm John Metzger. This is Jesse Klim. And uh, this is Swap 1. Swap 2 will be on that Ford over there. Stay tuned.